Hello family, in today's video we're going to go through the Wix shipping labeling option. I would like to show you some nuances with utilizing this feature, how to avoid them, uh, as well as techniques on printing out your labels really fast on top of how you can get free boxes and even have uh, your post is pick up from your house even if it's just one order so let's begin first thing you want to do and you can do this actually from your phone a lot of the other features you cannot so on the Wix app under your dashboards then you go to manage manage you have store store you have settings settings you have shipping right and this is where you can add your regions uh, whether you're going to do national international so forth and so on you also want to go to right for us United States you, I see clearly here that it's USPS calculator and I may have to revisit some of these other ones when you it's also on your dashboard under settings and I'll probably show you that in a little bit the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that your products have a weight to it right not only does it help to calculate proper shipping costs for the consumer but it also uh, ensures that your weight is accurate so that your label can be accurate because it all feeds into the system so I'm going to go to manage so I clicked on a product I'm going to manage uh, product details I'm going to go to manage inventory and shipping and then I'm going to put a weight right so say hypothetically this one was one pound and you can do better metrics on the computer on the phone downside number one on the phone it measures it in pounds and you can't do ounces in a product like this here uh, a lot of the products some of the products are in ounces individually and that's a nuance with the phone but you can fix that from the computer I'm going to hit save right so those are the two things you want to look for and I'll show you what it looks like on the desktop and then we'll go into printing a label as well as you know what are some pitfalls that happens all right on the dashboard we're going to go to store orders all right so I'm going to pick the first one that's unfulfilled if it's fulfilled it means you I went through this process so you marked it hopefully not by accident so there's one here for today or yesterday and I'm just going to select it select the order I'm going to hit create shipping label All right now I'm going to select package type now for United States Postal Services as long as the box is underneath 12 inches what there's 12 underneath 12 length height depth it's all the same rate right if it's a letter it's slightly cheaper right but it recalls the parcel regard the boxes anything under 12 so they have a default feature there which is medium box you can you can put it there it doesn't even if it's um even if it's um smaller or greater than the 10 by 10 by 10 that you saw as long as it's under 12 inches it's perfectly fine another thing is that when it comes to weight so you know you can put your item on a scale right you saw my item here on or our item uh, the particular items in this set it's six items right journal booklet shampoo right I, I specifically tell other clients that I'm making websites for and I'm working through is you know you want to make sure that the items are close after you start doing a couple of packages you'll start to get the the, the weight down but don't be too nervous right UPS I mean, United States Postal Service they round their weight is round I'll give you an example so that item there is 3.5 is about 3.5 pounds it's about four pounds 3.5 pounds so if I put three Point five, and I select priority first class mails are for packages that are under a pound so you see it's 35 I'm, pick, I'm picking 
three pounds five three pounds eight ounces 3.5 pounds the shipping is ten dollars and fifty five cents right let's say I, let's say I make it four still ten dollars fifty five cents let's say I put 3.4 3.4 that's when you see a difference right so anything so so anything to the nearest pound so if it's 0.5 and up it rounds to four anything 0.4 and down it rounds it down to three so that gives you some wriggle room with what you're shipping and i'll talk to you about the technical aspect in a minute you hit continue and pay let it load right now there's been a glitch that i think that they've been working on i have my payment method i'm going to hit submit purchase now if you don't see it circling still don't press it my thing is you press it once you count to 15 right 15 to 20 if there's no movement from there then you go and click it again the glitch is if you try to click um pay twice you'll get an error prompt and it'll, it'll think that you're actually making two payments and it will time out and you will have to wait anywhere from two hours to 24 hours before you're able to make another payment right three has um sticker labels it's pretty much a two on a eight by eleven and you're done I'll do one more so that you can see. I'm not gonna talk too much, right? Two of the items, two ounces. So that's four ounces. Create shipping label, package type, medium, right? And I can do it for um, 0.8. Once I have 0.8, I'm gonna select first class mail now first class mail will bring it to six dollars and five cents right if I drop it lower it will be lower than that but I'm going to use priority mail right. it'll get them to, it'll get it to them a little bit sooner they did pay more for the shipping so it's just about right to do so Gonna hit continue and pay, and they'll get it quicker. They'll get it quicker. Priority versus first class. Gonna hit submit purchase. See in the process. Then I hit print. Now, with that said, I want to go through some technical technical issues that I found with the system. And then we're going to shipping and labeling. Okay, we're on the East Coast, and remember, United USPS um, calculated rate does the weight and distance. All right, so from the East Coast to the West Coast, whole different zone, and as a result, it will charge the shipping rate based on the weight. But there are, there are ways around it. So here's one individual from California. They were charging the individual $23.15. Not us, the post office. And that's legitimate. If we were to do it in a regular box, that's what they would charge. But we know flat rate shipping is an option, right? So as a result, we put a banner on ours. And I will go to the website and show the light box um, that I use. But for other organizations or other companies, other clients, I would also put like a, a little small one inch banner um, you'll actually see what one looks like here but um it has if your shipping's over 20 please give us a call we we don't find too many in between any any anything like the $15 range anything around that's usually accurate if it's over 20 that means it's hitting a totally different zone but this is an option all right uh, for them to call you can use the chat feature and that way you don't lose sales. If the shipping is too high, and that's the whole premise about having accurate shipping, if the shipping is too high, the people are gonna leave or they're gonna be um, discouraged in making any purchases, right? So whatever you can do to make it as accurate as possible, right? There have been many a times when we first started, we tweaked it, all right? Um, and I'm gonna talk, 
See now we're gonna talk about that now. So California's one, and I'm gonna get back to the tweaking aspect. Um, there's another one, and there's a short coming in their feature. And I believe I'm gonna have to order number for that one too. This extension, if this extension is wrong, it will approve the shipping, it will acknowledge the address, but it will not be able to calculate the correct shipping cost. Uh, that's very crucial. And what 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 Wix does is they automatically goes to the default because it can't calculate it, right? So you have to make sure that you use the correct default. Now look, now look, we are in the hole not by much. We missed fifty cents on this one, about 15, 15 to thirty eight cents on this one, which is fine. But if this was going to California and they put that address in, we would have lost out on fifteen fifty, depending on what the item is, or if it's a large item, we may have missed out on three four five dollars now you know one or two that's not bad but when you're looking at you know multiple orders within the time period those dollars definitely add up so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your your default your backup shipping is a correct amount for your size store shipping so settings store shipping this business you know the average orders are anywhere from four to eight, right? It's because it's hair care sets that are being sold as well. Individuals are there, but in the sets primarily is what's being sold. So we know that based on the sets that we have, the sizes, most of them fit in a flat rate shipping, right? A flat rate box. So therefore the back, the backup for ours needs to be 1505, right? So I'm actually gonna copy this while this is loading. All right, and for the United States, it's with USPS. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, right, and I implemented it this week. But I'm gonna change my backup shipping to 1505. And honestly, the average weight that we deal with is about four pounds. So that way it has those two options for calculating the shipping. Let me know what tips and uh, tips, tricks and techniques you, you guys have. Let me know what you guys are using, what options you use. And uh, let me know if you found this vital. Every second of your life, you can't get back and you spend a couple of seconds with me. So I thank you for your time and um, feel free to comment, uh, subscribe, share. And let me know what you would like to know next.